Hello everyone, good to see you. Thank you for joining on this live stream. So uh, this is 24th of November and this is um, on Wednesday. So let's check some charts and see what's happening today because there was a big news in the US just earlier about 30 minutes ago. And also we're going to have a FOMC tonight uh, in the US. So let's check some USD pairs today. And today, live stream most likely will be a bit shorter than usual, maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes, because um, I wasn't, I didn't sleep well last night, and uh, I was gonna take a nap today, but I wasn't able to. So uh, today, live stream will be a bit shorter than usual, but hopefully you enjoy the talk until the end. So uh, for those who are uh, new new to my channel, my name is Kay. And I am a full-time Japanese forex trader who is living in Dubai since this July. And this channel is all about using Ichimoku to spot trends and reversals and to improve your trades to become a non-losing trader. So hopefully you enjoy this live session until the end. Okay, so let's get started. Before starting here, a quick disclaimer. Um, this information is basically based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do add in risk. And also, since this is live stream, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that will be great. Because after all, we're all here to learn. Okay, so thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you. I do see many comments now. So thank you for joining. All right, so let's check. Oh, first of all, I see Tom Two Doms uh, is joining Ichimoku community. So thank you, Tom. So um, once you join, Click on the join button on YouTube uh, because um, I get this question many times. So let me just briefly explain what, what to do afterwards. So once you click on the join button on YouTube, then I'll come to my website on the below description. There's a link and also hover on hover over our services and each community and you will see how to join. So click on how to join and you will see all the instructions. On what to do so after you click on this join button on YouTube then uh, you're gonna join the discord so click on this link and join discord and then connect your YouTube account with discord and then you're in the in the group and you get all the perks so it's a uh, very simple steps only three steps so um, please uh, do that and get all the perks in the discord so thank you for joining once again and there you go. All right. And thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let me check the first one, the uh, Euro USD. So Euro USD right now, this is daily chart, daily time frame, and it is downtrending uh, because um, we can see that the, um, the Kumo Senko Span B is down, Senko Span B is down, and the Senko Span A is also down. And I use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo to capture direction and also the momentum of the market in multiple time frames. And usually when I screen charts, I do so from the daily time frame. So this is daily, and when the Kumo's down, bearish, upper part is the Senko Span B, and lower part is called Senko Span A. And what I look at is the angle of these lines. And single span B angle is pointing down, and single span A is also pointing down. So these are downtrending, so this is nicely downtrending in the long term. Kumo shows the long term. And the Kijun Sen is a green one in my chart color setting, and this is down also. Kijun Sen is down, and Tenkan Sen is also down. The blue one is called Tenkan Sen, it's down also. And the Chikou Span is below the candles. Chikou span doesn't have to point down, but uh, Chikou span needs to be below the candles. And when you see this setup, this is bearish market. So this is a good one to look for the selling edge in the lower time frames. So after I confirm this downtrend in the daily chart, then what I do is I go down to one hour. So let me click on one hour chart and I look at the same things. So basically I look at these uh, Kumo. Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, and Chikou Spans. And if you see the Senko Span B, which is upper part, 
this is now pointing down. But Senko Span A is flat right now. Senko Span A is flat. And Kijun Sen flat. And Tenkan Sen flat. But Chiko Span below the candles. So in this situation, this is bearish. But uh, since Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are still flat, I would wait for the Kijun Sen to point down. And most likely, that's going to happen after the renewal of the breakout support. So simply in this case, I wait for the breakout of the support level, which can happen anytime soon. So, um, so that's Euro USD. So let's wait for the breakout. And especially in this case, there was a previously Doji candlestick. And once a Doji breakout happens, then it's going to be a powerful confirmation to sell. So, but until unless we confirm the candle close, like I mentioned it on yesterday's video, we have to confirm the candle close. And candle close needs to be below the previous doji. And then that will be a sign of the continuous downtrend. So let's wait for the candle to close. And in the meantime, let me talk about other USD pairs. So the next one I would like to mention today is the USDJPY. So USDJPY, let me turn to the daily chart. Um, daily chart shows that this is up trending right now. So I have been expecting the market breaks the resistance and finally today or yesterday, the market just broke the resistance. So uh, when you see up Kumo like this, the Senko Span B is a lower part and Senko Span A is upper part of the Kumo. So as you can see, Senko Span B angle is up, pointing up. And single span A angle is also pointing upwards. And then if you look at the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, they are also pointing upwards. So this is nice uptrend confirmation by Ichimoku. Plus, Chiko Span is also above the candles. So all the lines are moving up and this is nice setup for this uptrend. So from here, we can look for the buy chance. But I won't buy here yet. I have to look for the buying entry edge. So, but before doing that, I will look at the one hour. And if I look at the one hour chart, the Kumo is also nicely uptrending. The Senko Span B is up, and Senko Span A is also up. And Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are overlapping and they are pointing up. So, this is nice bullish confirmation. And also, Chiko Span is above the candles. So, this is a nice setup to look for the buy chance. All right, so I will look at the lower time frame shortly, but before that, let me talk about another trending market, which is USD Swiss Fran. So here is USD Swiss Fran, and this is the daily chart. So I was expecting the breakout of the P wave, and looks like it just happened, uh, you know, uh, three days ago, and today it continues to be bullish, and the market is at the previous resistance level here at uh, precisely at uh, 0 0.9367 so since the market is on that level it may be rejected and retraced so I will have to wait for the candlestick close above the resistance and then continue to look for buy chance uh, from tomorrow if it happens today so this one I will stay away Although it's uptrending nicely, I have to stay away because this is near the resistance level. And see, also this is Swiss from pair, and Swiss from pairs sometimes can be very tricky. So um, in the in this case, I just stay away. So among these three pairs, Euro USD and also USD JPY and USD Swiss run, I think USD JPY looks the best to look for the trading edge. So. Just an example, today, let's look for a trading edge on the USDJPY. So, once again, one hour chart is nicely uptrending and it is breaking the previous resistance level of 115.23. So, let me go down to 5. And in 5 minute chart, I don't use Ichimoku, I use Bollinger Band, Tier 6, and other confirmations and uh, since the market is all, all all the way up like this 
I have to wait for the retracement. So, uh, but other than that, let me see if I can find any other confirmations. In this case, I will draw a trend line. I can immediately see that we can connect the three dots. So nice trend line bounce. So the market may retrace backwards and bounce and goes up this way. And then we can buy over there too. So that's one of the scenarios. Or the market might be traced back to one of the Fibonacci levels. So we just wait for it and catch the bounce and continuously hold the buying position. So that's another scenario. Um, or the market may retrace back to the previous resistance level of 115.23 area. Like this, it may retrace backwards and bounce and goes up like this way. So um, in this case, once again, I will simply wait for the retracement and look for the buy chance afterwards. So that's what I will be waiting for on the USDJPY. Um, let's see, if I buy right now, then the stop loss in this case will be, let's see how many pips below. That will be 25, 26 pips of stop loss. So this is good still. We can enter right now and take like a like a about like 30 pips of stop loss and hold as long as it goes up so that's also good and simply when the market retraces we simply exit that position um so yeah it's uh it's your call whether we want to buy or not but for myself i wait i prefer to wait for a retracement because it looks like this uptrend uh, resistance breakout is very strong, so it might be traced backwards soon. So, uh, yeah, so that's USDJPY. So, um, and also what I look at is the strength chart. So, this is the currency strength chart. And as of now today, USD is nicely bullish. And the weakest today is the New Zealand pair. So I can see that the new, uh, USD is the strongest one and New Zealand is the weakest one. So it looks like as of now, the most volatile market is USD New Zealand. But uh, I don't trade New Zealand pairs because of the high spread and the two spiky lower time frames. So basically I look at other pairs and so let me see. If I just cancel New Zealand, then what we can see here is that the uh, so USD is right now going up and Canadian dollars also going up and the JPY is going down, pound is sideways and Swiss franc sideways and um, AUD is down and Euro is also down. Oh, okay, so Euro USD is going up right now, sorry, going down right now. So uh, we might see chance on Euro, Euro USD also. So while waiting for the retracement on USDJPY, let me turn to Euro USD. So let me split that window into two, like this way. And on the left, we continue to monitor USD JPY and look for the buying edge. Buying edge. You can see that the market is tracing backwards now, so it's good that we didn't buy at that high. So let's just wait for the retracement and see if it bounces on the previous resistance or not this time. And while waiting for that. I will turn the Euro USD on the right side. And uh, so once again, in the daily chart, it's downtrending nicely. And in the one hour chart, now it's down. Yeah, it just broke or it is breaking. The candlestick is not closed yet. So it is breaking the previous doji, but this is nice sign of downtrend. So in this case, I would draw the horizontal line on the uh, tip of the wick of the previous doji candle like this and look at the five minute chart. So if I say five minute chart, then um, yeah, so this was exactly where the doji was. And now after the seemingly, you know, doji breakout, now it, it's just retracing backwards in five minute chart. So in this case, we have to wait for the candle close below this candlestick below because this is an inside bar. This is inside 
And also, uh, sorry, this was outside, sorry. It was outside. I mean, uh, this big bullish candles, high and low, has been engulfing previous couple of candles. So it was engulfing, and this was an engulfing breakout, bearish. But after the breakout, soon it retrades backwards. So we need to wait for the candlestick to be bearish and wait for the reverse in wave in five and then sell afterwards. Otherwise, it may be, you know, become a double double bottom or inverse head and shoulders and the market may continue to retrace. So let's just wait for that in five and see if it happens today. So this is how I wait for the Trading edge by candlesticks and also Bollinger Band and stochastics. But mainly, I watch the price action like this to, to capture the edge. So, yeah, so let's wait for this. And in the meantime, let me come back to some comments. So, once again, thank you for joining, everyone. Great to see you here. Yeah, if you liked it so far, please press the like button. If you feel if that would be great. And uh, since I haven't slept well last night, um, I will, I think I will end that live session uh, a little bit earlier than usual. But I hope you enjoy until the end of live stream today. All right, so let's see. Yeah, good to see you, everyone. Thank you for joining. All right, Kishore says, um, okay, can you please share your view on if 4 hour chart is up, 1 hour is up, so when it retrades backwards, in which time frame the Kijun Sen got flat and we should consider that as exit timings? That will be in 4 hour chart. If it's 4, 4 hour chart becomes flat, then that's when you look for an exit timing. All right, yeah, good to see you everyone, thank you for joining. All right, Orvin says, can you do a bar reply and show time management, um, trade management on AUD USD fake out today? All right, um, I think we just focus on the USD JPY and Euro USD in five minute chart today. So uh, yeah, because there was a like fake out over here also. As we talk on this pair, there was a, there was a, you know, seemingly bullish, but now it's soon retraced backwards. So when you if you don't wait for the candlestick close, this was a fake and the market is now in a retracing backwards. But if you can wait for the candlestick close, you know this is a pin bar and the market is now retracing backwards. So yeah, yeah, good to see you here. So um, yeah, in terms of the news today. I pull up the calendar and yeah, uh, about 30 or 40, 50 minutes ago, there was um, news in the US. The two news, durable goods orders and also um, non-defense capital goods orders, ex-aircraft, and also there was gross domestic product annualized. So the turnout for two of these, uh, two of the three news was, were negative and only one turned out to be positive, but looks like market reacted to this non-defense capital goods orders, aircraft, because it was positive, and that's why the dollar is now bought. So, and if you look at the GDP uh, annualized, uh, if you can see the consensus, it's worse than consensus. But uh, yeah, if you look at the previous percentage, it was 2%, and this is 2.1%. So uh, you can see the difference here, and I think that's also why the USD is also bought right now. So um, yeah, and tonight there will be. Hold on. Oh um, yeah, I think that was uh, sorry Wednesday. So that will be Thursday. Right? Tomorrow there will be FOMC. Thought yeah, well, I thought it was today for some reason, but. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow there will be yeah FMC, 
Thursday, November at uh, 3 a.m. in UTC. So technically tonight, yeah, technically tonight there will be FMC. So we have to be careful for this news also. And it says tomorrow is holiday in the US. Will we be able to trade Forex in the upcoming two days? Yes, of course. Even if you see holiday, bank holidays in the US or UK, you can still take trades. If there's a trending direction, trending market, then I take trades also. All right, so let me come back to trading view. And so now, if you look at the USDJPY, so previously there was a pin bar, and afterwards there is another pin bar appearing here. So we have double pin bars, and this is sign of the range market. Because the market is at the resistance level, the market is now ranging. There, because there are sellers from here in the market and buyers for the long term. So basically, buyers and sellers fighting, and that's why it's ranging here. Same in Euro USD, because buyers and sellers fighting in the support area, and that's why it's ranging right now. And usually, the market becomes very spiky. And we may see lots of doji candles, pin bars in this near resistance support levels. So that's why we have to wait for the clear breakout or clear um, you know, candle close. Otherwise, you may get picked out. So um, yeah, so like I mentioned previously, in USDJPY, I'm creating two scenarios. So one is the market be resisted, sorry, supported. At the previous resistance level and bounces and goes up this way so that's one of the scenarios another one is the market may drop down to this uh, trend line in five and bounces and goes up so just waiting for either scenario to come and USDJPY to be able to buy and in terms of euro usd let me see where can where I can, can I sell. So the market is resisted by this descending trend line. So that's one. Resisted like this, but the market is has kind of gone far down right now. So it may it may pull back to a trend line and be rejected and continuously go down this way. Um, or, since this is in 5 minute chart, if you can zoom in like this, then you can draw a line here. So this is the previous supports can become resistance. So the market may be resisted here at 1.1201 and go backwards from here, which is happening right now. So um, in this case, I, I also wait for the candle close. To see which way the market is wanting to go and after I confirm the potential direction then I will enter the trade but not now stochastic is also gold crossing so we have to wait for the dead cross stochastic will be one of the bearish confirmations and for uh, UCJPY stochastic gold cross will be one of the confirmations for the next uptrend but even I, I don't see stochastic cross, if I see price action uh, says it's up or down, then I will still take trades by these confirmations. All right, yeah, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Hello, Archback, good to see you here. Let's see. Would you look at the US Eastern front UTC 825 minute time frame? Would you take the engulfing breakout if you see it live? I saw it happen and took my first paper trade with Ichimoku. Would like to hear your thoughts. All right. Um, let me quickly switch to US Eastern front on the right and um, look at the five minute chart. Uh, so that was today at 820 UTC. Let's see. 820 UTC was all the way down here. So around here on this candlestick, there was um, engulfing breakout. Okay, 
So let's see. Oh yeah, so you're talking about these engulfing breakouts. So if higher time frame higher time frames were uptrending here, then yes, at this engulfing breakout I can take it because it's band walking and engulfing breakout inside but breakout and also um, stochastics was gold crossing before. So we've got three confirmations, so we can enter exactly after you confirm this breakout. So that would most likely next next candlestick. So around here probably I would enter the trade. And my stop loss will be below the previous support. So that will be here in five minute chart. Yeah, so it is possible to trade in this case, yes. If higher time frames are uptrending on that timing. So let me come back to Euro USD and continue to monitor whether we can sell or not. And sometimes I also look at the divergence in stochastics. So uh, if I see divergence, this is like bullish divergence now because the lows are lower in the price, but the lows in stochastics are higher, higher now. This is going opposite direction. This is engulf. Uh, this is uh, sorry, not engulfing. This is um, divergence. So when I see this divergence, the market could go up from here. So to be safer, you want to wait for the death growth on stochastics. And let's see in USDJPY. Let's see. There is um, there was no. Divergence here, so simply I wait for um, the, the the bounce in this case. So it looks like it's kind of bouncing or ranging still. So let's just wait for the candle close above the previous doji um, or not. So it's gonna close in about two minutes. Exterior says, um, do you have a Telegram page? No, I don't. I don't do Telegrams. I heard that there is a fake Telegram account of mine. So, uh, yeah, and I think in that Telegram, I heard that, you know, people are talking about the cryptocurrency and some signals, but I don't trade cryptos and I don't give signals. So, uh, and I don't do Telegrams. So if you see that, then that's a fake. And if, if, uh, and also how to identify whether it's a fake or not is whether they say stay gold or not. <laughs> I always say stay gold on the email or, uh, you know, comments. So uh, if you don't see stay gold, then most likely that's fake. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so USDJPY is ranging still, but potentially goes up continuously. And Euro USD looks like Euro USD, the market was rejected at this 1.1201, and now it's going down. So let's wait for the breakout of uh, 1.1186, the previous support in five, and then take a sell afterwards. Dan says, uh, we will be trading during the FOMC meetings. No, we don't. If I hold the positions, then I will set the break even and go over the news. Otherwise, I stay away and come back afterwards. Right, so let me pick some other comments now. Um AUDJPY, yeah, AUDJPY, I, I saw that it was ranging before, but let me see. AUDJPY daily chart with Ichimoku, it's range. The market is going into the Kumo now. There are too many lines, so let me delete everything. So it's going into the Kumo now, and in the forward chart, it's also flat. So, um, yeah, 
In this case, simply I stay away. The market can be very, very tricky in this case. So let's continue to focus on Euro USD 5 and USDJPY 5 for the trading edge. Looks like USDJPY looks better because it's still going up, but Euro USD is still sideways. So most likely I take trade on the USDJPY. Let me zoom in. I like these consecutive doji candles because once it breaks, I expect the market goes up very fast. So let's see if it happens today. Cute animals says, um, when do you check the currency chart, strength chart? It kept changing every few minutes. Uh, yeah, it changes every few minutes. So you can't trade with this. But um, if you want to see, for example, uh, which currency is causing the trend, then you can refer to the strings chart. Because if you look at the USD JPY, sometimes USD is strong, but JPY is flat. In that case, you see the uptrend is caused by this strong USD. Or if USD is flat and JPY is going down, then you know USDJPY uptrend is caused by this weak JPY. So this is how you see, how you refer to the strings chart, but you don't trade with the strings chart because it changes every minute, as I mentioned. All right, Josh says, um, have you heard of the Ichimoku devil settings? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I used to use Ichimoku devil settings myself about like five or six years ago, but I gave up because it's too complex and I don't change Ichimoku settings I do use only original Ichimoku settings in order to uh, you know be able to use time cycles and price theory and uh, you know all other Ichimoku strategies all right so Okay, so looks like USDJPY, it broke the previous um, resistance here, or previous pin bar, it just broke. And looks like next, it might break the resistance of the previous pin bar here, 115.37. But I... To be safer, I want to wait for the breakout of 115.37 and then buy afterwards. And by that time, I think Stochastics will be gold crossing and that will be safer to buy. So if I, if I buy at the breakout, then my stop loss will be below the previous low in the 5 minute chart. Most likely, let's say I take a buy here, the breakout, and then my stop loss is going to be around 31, 32 pips. In range so this is still tight for myself for the stop loss so i think that will be a nice trade but with this like uh you know like uh i also think about the stop loss before i take trades so uh yeah like this i can kind of i monitor chart in this way but let's see if the market gone too far and if my stop loss is more than 40 pips or 45 pips then most likely I won't take it because a stop loss in this case is too wide. But 31 pips, 32 pips is acceptable. Okay, Orvin says um, bearish engulfing formation in Euro USD 5 mini chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We might see the breakout of the support level. We'll see. Andrew Law says, um, Hi K, great advice on waiting and being patient. Sometimes I am too excited and enter too early, then trade didn't work out. Yep, yep, yep. So we have to be patient. Yes, that's the key. That's the key. And to be patient, you have to have a solid strategy to follow. Because 
emotion sometimes can overtake the strategy and you may take trades in the wrong wrong timing so yeah you listen to the strategy but you don't listen to emotion is a way to be patient demo says um hello mr k why don't you take trades uh yes so i'm about to take trade but still waiting for the trading edge to come i don't trade whenever or uh, wherever i wait for the edge to come and then trade otherwise i stay away so hopefully on this live stream i can take a trade but uh let's see but at least i can share the way how i see charts how i wait for the trading edges in the live i think uh it's still uh, i hope it's still um uh you know good learning good lesson for everyone okay so it's about to break but i don't trade right now still because it might become double top and market might retrace because and i say that i say that because there was a long week doji candle or pin bar i would say this was a pin bar with a long week so we can clearly see that there is a strong resistance level here so it was a breakout so it was after the breakout of the previous resistance with this big bullish candlestick you see that there was a pin bar a reversal pin bar so that 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 means uh, these buyers gave up for some reason here and sellers came in and the market was in a range so it takes energy to or power to uh, you know break through otherwise it may become double bottom double top sorry double top and the market may retrace and that's why I wait for a breakout in this case but if this was not the pin bar like this then I will enter right now but because this is pin bar I, to be safer I want to wait for the breakout it's only about the probability but uh you know I don't want to take trades where the where the chance is 50 50. so that's why I don't trade right now okay looks like euro USD is going up and so it might test the trend line and reject it and retrace backwards we'll see Tafik says um hello k okay. what about euro cisfran euro cisfran is uh is trending still but i don't see any trends in the lower time frames so simply i'm staying away from that one Hello Tejash, you're welcome. DJ Yadi says USDJPY broke Tokyo Box. That's right, that's right. I didn't mention about Tokyo Box. But um, yeah, today it was a Tokyo Box breakout. Tokyo end session end was here and it was exactly the breakout. Tokyo Box breakout today was a signal of the continuous uptrend so yeah we simply continue to monitor in this case Neil says what is your method of taking multiple trades to maximize the profits um, so I take two trades three trades on the same level and I manage the stops in different time frames in this way i can maximize the profit as much as possible original stop loss is are at the same level but uh, the way i trail is different once the market goes towards my direction the judge says um, also on a euro usd how did you know to use outside bar for the long bullish candle after the stock um scarcity gold cross and not inside for the future candles um yeah so it was outside um over here and there was a fake breakout it became fake as a result but it, there was a breakout and the market retraced backwards within a range so 
Um, so um, I was talking about the breakout over here. So, okay, so now um, Euro USD is testing this uh, trend line. So let's see if it rejected and retrace backwards. And on the USDJPY, okay, so now it's retracing backwards, right? So it's good that we didn't take a trade. So yeah, let's wait for the breakout and take a buy afterwards. Um, let me turn the stochastics. Yeah, stochastics gold crossing. It's still band walking, so I can see potential bullishness. Looks like USDJPY is better than EURUSD. I think EURUSD, if you see the candlesticks, this is too tricky. This is spiky, up and down. Okay, and now it broke the resist, broke the trend line. So most likely I stay away from the EURUSD. This is a bit too tricky. But um, USDJPY looks nicer. Okay, Brian says, um, USDJPY has gold cross in 5 minute chart. There are 3 confirmations here. Um, yes, gold cross and band walking. But I'm still waiting for the breakout of the resistance in this case. Because there was a long week on this pin bar. So, it may be rejected and retrace backwards continuously. So, if it was rejected, then the market may drop down to the trend line and bounce and goes up. So... That will be in the next scenario. Okay, Euro USD in 5 may be rejected by this trend line. So let's wait for the candle close in 2 minutes. If the close will be inside of the trend line, then there is a good chance the market continuously go down. Otherwise, it could be range. Orvin says, set a Euro, Euro, Euro USD trading stop at 1.1215, secure A pips before I sleep. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you secure some pips before you go to bed so that even if you close with some, some pips, few pips, you can still be safe psychologically. Yeah. Wendy says, when enter USDJPY, when do we uh, target? Uh, okay, so TP in this case, I follow, since I follow the daily direction, the target is based on the daily time frame. So, and simply, I one of the take profit will be simply the previous resistance. So, um, yeah, so there was a previous uh, resistance here, but this is now kind of close. So the next resistance is all the way up here, 118.64 area. So that will be the target. I mean, ultimate target. The market may not go up to that level. It may stop along the way and then I will close. But uh, if the market reaches all the way to the top like this, then that will be a good reward. So that will be roughly around, let's see, that will be about 333 pips is the target, the ultimate target in this particular trade. Let me forward to the current market. Okay, so looks like, and also looks like the market has been supported by this Bollinger Band, Deviation 1. So, this is ascending P wave and it could break upwards. 
but we'll see. Okay, in Euro USD, you see that the candle close came inside of the descending trend line. So we see there was a nice rejection. So there's a good chance that the market retraces backwards and keeps going down this way. So in this case, if I start to see reversed in the wave like this, then that will be my entry. Or in price action, that will be my entry. Or simply wait for the dead cross stochastics and band walking, that will be good too. Archibald says, after a breakout, do you wait for a few more candles or just buy on the second candle after the previous close? Yeah, I buy on the second candle after the previous close. Okay, so... Um... But uh, yeah, looks like today markets are active. So uh, I think we have some nice chance to trade before F FMC. One hour before F FMC, you never trade, but right now it's good timing still. And possibly you set the break even before F FMC and see the market goes towards that direction or not. Like my mindset for the news is that once I set the break-even line, then I don't lose. So that will be either break-even or win game that I want to play. And then, if the market goes toward, towards my direction, then that will be just like bonus um, after the news. And even, even if the market retraces backwards, I don't lose anyways. So I like to go over news with a break-even in that, in that sense. But if I can't set the break even, then I close position and come back, come back to chart afterwards. Because we can't expect which way the market goes after the news. All right, so uh, I guess I will be ending the live stream for now since I didn't sleep well last night and I have a bit throat ache. So I will end the session for now. But uh, yeah, you can keep monitoring the chart, UCJPY and EURUSD, like I mentioned, and see the market if the market goes towards that direction or not. Most likely after this, I have one meeting and I won't take trades. I will sleep most likely. So good luck to everyone. All right. So every time you play, you, you sorry, every time you trade, make sure to put the stop loss and make sure to calculate the risk per trade always and then you should be good all right so uh yeah thank you for joining once again it was nice meeting you everyone and uh if you liked it please press the like button before you leave that would be great and i will see you in the next one so please stay healthy stay safe and stay gold all right bye for now everyone matane Thank you.